Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Horror Hotties. We are here with episode five and we have got a really awesome movie review going on for you guys uh, tonight. So let's go on ahead and get into our little cute intro that everybody put together for us and then we'll get into the movie. All right, welcome back, guys. So this week, we got to watch the Scream, Scream. movies. <laughs> we mostly focused on the first one, um, which came out in 1996. is directed by Wes Craven. Um, you know, he directed a lot of really awesome horror films, so we were really excited to do this one. And personally, this is one of my favorites. So we're going to go on ahead and play the trailer for you guys, and then we'll get to talking about it. You tell me your name, I'll tell you mine. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. I am calling the police. They never make it in time. This is Gail Weathers with an exclusive... Authorities are baffled. ...to mourn by the killer. It all began with a scream over 911. Like the plot of some scary movie. Hello, Sydney. Do you like scary movies? What's the point? They're all the same. Some stupid killer stalking some big-breasted girl who can't act who's always running up the stairs when she should be going out the front door. It's insulting. There are certain rules that one must abide by in order to successfully survive a horror movie. <laughs> Never, ever say, I'll be right back. Because you won't be back. Get another beer, you want one? Yeah, sure. I'll be right back. Help me, somebody! Scared, are you? All right, welcome back. So, uh, we have Lars who's coming back again. Welcome, Lars. Thank you. We also have Lexi who's returning again tonight. And then I'm Bex. Um, I've been here every episode, and you guys, honestly, this is your, both of I actually, both of you guys are second, second, second episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> we didn't scare you away. <laughs> we love that. Well, maybe a little bit, but. <laughs> right? <laughs> <A good thing. laughs> so, um, I wanted to ask you guys, what was the first scary movie that you remember watching, ever? Um, I'll go first. Um, I remember my dad showed me Chucky when I was, I mean, as early as I can remember, four or five. and Probably would have been the original Child's Play, too. Yeah, it was definitely the original Chucky, and I remember that stuff. I was terrified for months, and I was afraid <laughs> of the dark after that. I, anytime I woke up to go to the bathroom, I would have to call for my parents, and that, um, it terrified me, but also started my love for horror movies. Heck yeah, it's gotta start somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah. What about you, Lexi? Um, I think my first horror movie was, is it Jeepers Creepers? Because, <laughs> yeah, no, me and my friend were like, oh, let's watch a scary movie tonight. And like we watched all three, and I could not go to sleep after that. Yeah, it was those terrifying. Movies, those movies will damage you. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> they'll damage you. My personal, my first scary movie that I remember watching was actually Scream, which oh. is funny enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I remember being what, gosh, like four. Like maybe three or four and watching it on accident and I was absolutely terrified as a child. I didn't watch it again until I asked my mom one day um, and we ended up watching it together and so it was a really cool experience for me because I had no idea who the killers were like and mm -hmm. nobody you know in my school like ever really honestly watched horror movies like we didn't talk about that stuff so I was like completely just and I don't know, like, I feel like it really built my love for horror movies because it was the first scary movie that I ever watched. And so I was like, wow, like, 
that was actually not bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then you you have like three more because they all came out, you know, before the 2000s. And so it's like, oh, well, then you don't just have the first one to watch. You have all three. Yeah. So, yeah. I love that. Um, so what were your guys' thoughts on the movie? So I've, I've definitely been a huge fan ever since I was younger, yeah. but... Oh, yeah. Spoiler alert, guys. We are going to have so many spoilers. Yeah, before we actually get into it. <laughs> right? Granted, this movie warning. came out in 1996, so most people have seen it. But if you haven't yeah. seen it, there are going to be a lot of spoilers. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Lexi, you haven't, you didn't see it before, so maybe you should share what your thoughts were first. Um, I think that, well, I mean, I've always watched horror movies, you know, so I feel like it was a little bit predictable, but I kind of liked it because, you know, I thought it was the boyfriend at first, and then it was like, oh, maybe it's the news reporter, maybe it's this person, and then, you know. You're going back and forth yeah. on the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They definitely trick you a lot, making you think it's someone, and, and then mm -hmm. thinking it's another person. Like, oh, dang it. Who, yeah, who no could true. it be? That's the whole, right. that's the whole, like, enjoyment of it. It plays on your, it, it, it plays on the obvious, like, usually, oh, usually it's the boyfriend. Like, mm -hmm. we're going to make them think, yeah, it is the boyfriend. And then we're going to throw them off and be like, oh, like, no, it's, it's not the boyfriend. Mm -hmm. It's everybody except the boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. He's in jail, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's in jail. So. Dude, killer was underneath our noses the whole time. Mm -hmm. No, for real. Yeah, and I did like that it wasn't just, I think one of the, the big things that made this movie really popular was that this was one of the first movies where it was two killers. I feel like that's, that's something that is very uh, new, I think, for that time in the horror movies because they're really, when you think about it, Jason, that's one. I mean, yeah. you think about his mother. <laughs> it's two people, but... I get what you're saying, I get what you're saying. Yeah, it was definitely... Um, Sort of a newer take on horror for that for that time. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So I think it was kind of a big shocker when everybody was like, "Oh, we don't know who the killer is," and then there's, there's two. Yeah, that yeah. definitely threw me for a twist the first time I watched it because you, um, who who do you think it's who gets revealed first, Stu or the other guy? No, I think it's the boyfriend first. Mm -hmm. It's Billy. Oh, Billy gets shown first. Yeah, and you're like, "Oh, it's Billy." And it's two. You're like, yeah, oh, exactly. it's both of them. That's right. a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it was. I thought it was really funny too. How like they uh, play on the whole the virgin thing, and then he, mm. you know, they do the dirty deed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they say like, you have sex, like you're done. Like <laughs> you're dying. That's one of the rules. So it was kind of funny to me that when when they made you know the boyfriend the killer, it's like, oh, of course he takes her virginity. Of yeah. course. Why not? Just before Why wouldn't he tries he? to kill her. Mm. Super toxic. Why wouldn't he do that? <laughs> <laughs> like, that was his whole plan the whole time. He's like, what if I just... What if I just... What if I ruined her life forever? Traumatized her. Absolutely. Yeah. And then he went for it. <laughs> Full send. Well, it was like he went for it, and then literally, like, hours after... He, well, maybe not hours, but like, you know, time after he did it, he's like, oh, by the way, I raped your mom, and then I killed her. And like, you know, you gutted her and every, all the horrible things. It's like, oh, that's, that's awesome. kind of traumatizing. <laughs> right? It's like, oh, okay. And then it's just like, I think one of the, uh, God, I think the kill scenes in this are just ridiculous. Yes. Like, they mm -hmm. are absolutely They're ridiculous. Classic, golden, mm -hmm. amazing, all of them. Uh, even the first, I think we were talking about the opening scene where Drew Barrymore's in there cooking popcorn, like, so, just so, yeah. like, <laughs> so 90s, like, on the stovetop, just cooking her popcorn, and then this creepy man is just calling her, and she's entertaining this. Yeah, like, <laughs> she definitely played into it a little bit there for a while. <laughs> but it was just, it's so, it's so funny. Like, it's just genuinely just funny. And then you think about how gory her kill scene was, where he, she's, you know, being, like, basically gutted and dragged through the grass, yeah. and... Her parents come home and it's like, your daughter's hanging in a tree. That's got to be awful. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, yeah. I kept thinking I was watching scary movie and I kept waiting for like a funny part. And I'm yeah. like, oh no, it's it's not gonna be funny, is it? It's all kind of <laughs> gory. Like, no. <laughs> they don't laugh here. They scream. <laughs> oh, they scream. 
But yeah, I think I think that's probably my at least for for me that's my favorite kill scene. I think that's what's really stuck with me like mm. all these years has been like the Drew Barrymore kill scene when she gets murdered. That <laughs> whole thing. Poor guy. Poor Steve. Her boyfriend just chilling, <laughs> just being a football player. You didn't have a chance. <laughs> didn't have a chance at all. Yeah. Not a chance. Um, I think my favorite kill scene was Tatum in the. Um, garage door just because it's so ridiculous like she's not she doesn't look that stuck is she? right <laughs> she's not trying she that could've, she could have squeezed through that she could have squeezed me. through <laughs> yeah. and then actually my favorite part was when the um, the killer is just like standing in the doorway and he just slowly like goes back inside like like no. nobody's gonna notice you hear people partying in the background and nobody's <laughs> saying <laughs> I thought the timing on that was really funny well I feel like that's why it made me so mad is that like you could hear people in the background, which her kill scene was absolutely ridiculous. I feel like she could have never seen it either repeated. fit through all the way, or she could have at least scooted back when it was going up, like one or the other. <laughs> but um, it, the party wasn't even that loud, so it wasn't like you know, right? Anyone's like there's a only whole like bunch 12 of people there. Yeah, exactly. So we should have <laughs> known something was going on, or at least someone should have looked for her. Or something like that, but instead it was just like, yeah, whatever, she's gone. But yeah, it's normal. The door broke. Yeah, it must like, be loud. Yeah, like, sparks, exactly. Or like, there's a killer Nobody's questioning out. where their beer is. Mm -hmm. She went to go grab beer. No one's questioning. Exactly. <laughs> where's my and then beer? when Stu went to go grab beer, it was like, instead of being like, yeah, where's my beer? It was like, oh yeah, whatever. He'll be back in like ten years. No, we need to go ever, get some milk. Everyone just keeps going to get beer. They're like, okay, yeah, <laughs> you go too. Okay. No, they're not back yet. Oh, someone else should go get the beer. Yeah, and there's a exactly. killer out. Like, exactly. That's what horror movies do. They make you upset <laughs> and angry, yes. and, like yelling at the TV. Exactly. I feel like it's not a good horror movie if you're not mad at some of the scenes yes. or you're not <laughs> picking agree. them apart. Like, why are you going upstairs? Like, and that's what's funny, I think, too, is that they're always like, oh, like the, you know, the big breasted girl runs up the stairs. Like, right. yeah, that's what exactly what they do in all of them. All the characters are very <laughs> self-aware. Like, all of the characters have seen scary movies. They know what happens. Exactly. And yet, they still fall into the same oh, fate. Randy. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite character, Randy. God, love him. Yeah, he's Bless his soul. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sad that they kill him off. But not in this one. Not in the first one. Love that. <laughs> He's my favorite, though, because he's always like, those are the rules. Like, we got to post up the rules. Like, yeah. And then he helps them. It, like, if you see the other movies, he's actually, a, 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 honestly, a part of every movie. Because <laughs> they're like, oh, like, no, like, he knows the rules. And then he makes a recording of himself. He's like, if this happens again and I die, what? <laughs> if I'm dead, I swear. Well, that reminds me of the character from, like, the newer Evil Dead. And he's like, don't read the book. Like, don't do this. And everyone's like, oh. It's like, no, he knows. He knows. Right. But no one listens to I him. I think you were saying Evil Dead was one of your favorite movies, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That's <laughs> so funny. Yeah, they reference a lot of all, like, all the good horror movies in, this, in, the, in Scream. Yeah, I think that's a, a big part of this movie franchise mm -hmm. is that they, they're not afraid to talk about other movies. They're mm -hmm. not afraid to mention other actors like oh Tori Spelling when they mentioned Tori Spelling I'm like oh how funny like soap opera actress we're playing yeah. um actually that uh actually leads me into I wanted to ask you some trivia questions Ooh. because Scream is your favorite movie I want to see how well you know your favorite movie oh, I hope well enough to call <laughs> it my favorite now I'm nervous <laughs> Okay, um, we can start with the first question. Gail Weathers is a reporter for which news organization? Oh my god. <laughs> that's actually... <laughs> when we think that's about a that, good huh? question. I've never thought about it. I've never listened to her say. No. Oh, man. Well, it's obviously not Woodsboro because she comes to Woodsboro. God, I don't know that one, actually. It's just Top Story. Top Story <laughs> with Gail Weathers, yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, Awful. Right. <laughs> you actually come up with... <laughs> That's a good trivia good question. Yeah. That's a good, good one. All right. What movie is playing on the TV at Stu's house party? Oh. Well, they're watching Halloween. That's correct. Good job, Stu. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. What was the original title for Scream? 
Oh, that's a good question. I probably wouldn't know. You mean like the movie or like inside the movie? Um, I think it was like before they named it Scream, they had a, a different Ooh, title. Oh, I think I might it. know this, but yeah. I don't know. Oh, he's still interested. <laughs> I actually don't know. I have no idea. Do you want to give it a try? I don't know. I think it was like Blade or something like that. Like, mm. I don't know. It wasn't no. Blade, but it was like something obvious that you're like, oh, okay. No. Was it Stab? Was it? No. Yeah, like no, I was thinking was. it was Stab. Were they gonna call it? There's actually another movie that I mentioned earlier with the title. Halloween? No. Oh. I was like, what? No idea. They called it Scary Movie. Really? They that's were going to call it Scary that's Movie? That's what online said. <laughs> Maybe that's why the Scary Movie came out as the Scream Spit. That's so funny. I never okay. knew that. Did you guys know that? <laughs> I didn't know that. That's <laughs> I didn't think wow, it. okay. You're going to have to do this every time. Okay, those I'm are down. good trivia oh, questions. Yeah. Those are okay. really good ones. All right. I have uh, one more. Which horror film veteran makes a cameo appearance in Scream? Wait, what do you... Um, horror film veteran. Like someone that's been, been in other, in other horror, horror films. movies? She made a, um, they, they made a cameo. <laughs> <laughs> they gave it away. There's a hint. She, which uh, female horror actress, made a cameo. I don't know I have one. no idea. No. Um, Linda Blair from The Exorcist. Oh, I knew that one. She was uh, one of the recorders. I had no idea. When I was watching that, I was like, wait. Yeah. You know what's funny? I've never, seen, I've never seen The Exorcist, so I guess that's a good, that's probably a good point. I've never seen The Exorcist, <laughs> so I wouldn't recognize her. We should her. watch The Exorcist sometime. <laughs> yeah, that's like one movie that everybody talks about, but I've never seen it. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've seen, um, like, the, the yeah, the, the scary movie version. Right. <laughs> But yeah, I just I, I I know that it's a good movie. It's just, I'm like very picky about my poltergeist movies. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm very mm-hmm. weird about my demon movies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I feel like maybe I should watch that one. Maybe yeah. we can watch that some week. Yeah. Um. So what don't you guys like about the movie? I feel like you have more <laughs> opinions on that than us. Well, I love the movie, yeah, so it's I hard for me. Too. I mean, I liked it. It was cool, but like I feel like it was. Like, kind of cheesy, but, like, not cheesy, but, like, it was kind of, like, obvious. Yeah. You know? Like, I feel like, like I said, like, I watch a lot of horror movies, so it basically went against, like, or not against, but along with, like, all horror movies. Mm-hmm. Like, this happens, this happens, this happens. Predictability. And that leads you to kill it. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know if they necessarily did that on... I mean, I kind of think they did it on purpose mm-hmm. a little bit. Like, I feel like they, they wanted it to be predictable because that's kind of the whole thing is that they're like, oh, we're going to, like, make a scary movie... But we're gonna make it funny, like, yeah, and exactly. it's gonna make fun of all the other scary movies you guys watch. And that's, mm-hmm. I think, like, kind of maybe a, a, like a, I don't know, what do you call that? It was like in the back of their minds. Mm-hmm. Like they were like, yeah, let's have mm-hmm. that vibe. Yeah, let's like, throw that vibe in there. But I can see how that can be kind of off-putting for some people. Yeah. Well, it was because like you know I didn't know what I was getting myself into, so I was like, this is gonna be, you know. When you're younger, like before watching all the scary movies, you hear all the things like, oh my gosh, it's so scary. Right. You know, there's like a ghost face on there. Like, I don't know what to do if I'm going to see it. And then you watch it and you're like, oh, this is kind of stupid. It's kind of funny. Right. I guess, yeah, in, in its prime, when it was new and original, I can understand why the hype yeah. was there. But now, like this day and age, we've seen everything. We've seen so much gore. You're like, yeah. You know, death scenes so watching it yeah. now maybe you're a little desensitized you have to be really really creative that yes. way yeah. for a, a, a death or a kill scene to kind of stand out you know what i mean like mm-hmm. i feel like you have to be so creative mm-hmm. yeah. um and then wow, oh gosh um the one thing that i think throughout the whole series not even just the first movie the one thing that I don't like is that, and I think I told I was talking to about this earlier as well. The third movie, mm-hmm. my least favorite, absolutely god awful, which I think is also maybe <laughs> intentional, because usually the I don't know what you call the sequel, but then the third one is like the 
what do you call that? I don't know. The third movie. Uh, <laughs> it has the name, I forgot. The third one's usually the worst. And then they came back with the fourth one, and the fourth one was okay. Oh, a trilogy. That's right. Yeah. It's a trilogy. <laughs> Maybe we'll put the one. <laughs> I know. Words are hard. <laughs> but the trilogy is the... Oh, God, the third one was the worst, though. I just... I didn't mm. like the storyline. I didn't like the random killer at the end like you could because I think what made me like these movies initially was that you did low-key get introduced to every person or you knew what was going on so mm. you could kind of guess who the killer was but I feel like the third one threw that out the window and I didn't like it mm. and then they came back with the fourth one and the fourth one was more along the okay we meet everybody this is like a redo of Sydney's life when she was in high school because it's her cousin so yeah. they redeemed themselves they kind of redeemed themselves they probably that. heard some <laughs> reviews on the third one like ooh, um maybe we should maybe they were like trying to try something new it's like no no mm -hmm. keep it keep it yeah oh I was going to talk about fun facts so I actually watched the director's cut and um a lot of the behind the scenes because I'm so obsessed with this movie it's ridiculous so I didn't know, um, one of the cool things was that in the very first movie, they didn't know where the killer was going to be hiding on set. So a lot of their scare scenes were pretty genuine reactions. They were like, oh my gosh, like, you know, like just actual screech, yeah. like they actually jumped out. At they the wanted actors. the actors to get scared. They wanted them to be scared, which I think was something really interesting that Wes kind of put into. Um, and then the other thing was that um, the vocals for the first movie were originally recorded by a, like a faceless guy. Like they never knew who the voice of the killer was. And then they started, at least in the beginning, and then in the later on, you when you start to kind of watch, if you watch it again, mm -hmm. you can notice the voices, and you're like, oh, that's. That's Billy, or yeah. oh, that's Stu. But to them, when they were filming the movie, it wasn't them. They didn't use their voice. They used a random guy's voice. Oh. Ooh. So it was a little bit more eerie for them in the background, which I thought was really cool. That's interesting, actually trying to scare the actors a little bit so they're more genuine yeah. on the screen. That's very interesting. Didn't you mention some of the um, actors were dating as well? Yeah, so Courtney Cox um, and David Arquette actually got married after filming these movies. So this movie came out in 96. They were married in 99. So Scream 1 was 96, Scream mm -hmm. 2, 97. And then I believe Scream 3 was 2000. 2000-something, so. yeah. beginning of the 2000s. Um, but yeah, Courtney and David were actually married, and they got divorced in 2013. So now that a new Scream movie <laughs> is coming out next year, 2022, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. It's going to be awkward watching Dave. I, I don't know. I get, Not awkward for us, but yeah. I, I imagine yeah. it was probably <laughs> awkward for David and Courtney to get together and film this movie because they've been divorced. Mm -hmm. And I don't think, I don't know that they, like, either of them remarried. So it'll be really interesting to see if this is, Ooh. like, a rekindle. Like, are they going to get back together? Or is it going to be, like, super awkward and they hate each other and the movie will just kind of show that vibe? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't maybe know what they're going to do. Maybe they'll play into that a little bit? I know. Maybe they'll play it because they always have the weird love thing going yeah. on. Like, if you watch the rest of the series, which I hope you do, you, you, you watch them go through their relationship. They have their ups and downs. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with the fifth one because I don't know if they're going to be together. Are they going to have kids? Like... Ooh, is there no. anything else you're kind of looking forward to or expecting from the new movie? Oh, I haven't even thought about it, to be honest. I, <laughs> I just found out that they were coming out with it, like, a few weeks ago. So I haven't, tr I, like, I try not to think about it because I want to be surprised. Right, I, I want, But I'm kind of skeptical because Wes Craven passed away, so he's not directing this one. Mm -hmm. And so I'm a little bit skeptical as to how good it's going to be or if, they're going to really blow it out of the park for him because oh, I feel like he deserves it. Yeah. 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 I feel like he deserves it. Like, these movies have touched so many people. <laughs> like, for a horror film, I would say. Yeah. I, I'm, my expectations are high. 
Mm -hmm. So I really hope I'll they... be disappointed if there is. Yeah. Yeah. If I go there and I feel like I have to leave, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I will yeah. I will cry real well, quick. Especially, <laughs> especially since it's like the fifth movie. So like, you know, you can't screw up number five because then it, it, what, what's the point of even making it? I know. Right. And Scream, I feel like, is so original in itself. Mm -hmm. So. When was when did the fourth one come out? How long ago? Oh shoot. Um, I want to say it was 2010. Okay. I think 2010 okay, so is when the fourth while. one came out. Yeah. it's been a if, long time. If they're gonna do it. They, they have, have 12 years. Yeah. Good in, in the, yeah. Yeah, and it is Neve Campbell is going to be starring in it as well. They have verified that at least. Um, so I'm very excited well, to see her so returning. So much older. Yeah. I know, I know. I just, I, like, I'm like, how is she, how? Like, and then just, like, who? Who in well, their right is mind is going to try and challenge this woman again? Right. Who's the killer? <laughs> I already am trying to figure it out. I haven't even. I wonder if it's going to be, like, the Halloween movie, like, the newer one. Where they just never die. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> It just keeps going. The man's immortal. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And that, that is another thing, too, because they're like, oh, like, they always come back for that second scare. Mm -hmm. She's like, not in my movie. Pop. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did he say? He was like, God. Or like, <laughs> <laughs> that was a good part. <laughs> uh, Stu, Stu is hilarious. He is. He's definitely the funnier character. He is my favorite character. I... You said you really liked the beginning because it's such an iconic scene. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed the ending because Stu's on camera the whole time and he's just being funny. I think crazy. Yeah, the jokes just never stop. And he's all sticking <laughs> his tongue out and drooling. <laughs> yeah, he's being kind of a brat and like sassy still. Like while he's bleeding out, he's all like, I'm okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then tries to attack her after like, you know, she kills, um, what's his name? Her boyfriend, like, and not kills, but after she stabs Billy and he, like, comes and chases her, like, you're dying and you know you're dying. So, like, <laughs> we already know who's going to lose this battle. But, right. you know, he still tries. I like you know, the that's bickering loyalty. between the two guys. That's really funny mm -hmm. and, like, real. I think, like, if two best friends, like, in high school decide to go on a... Killing, killing spree. spree, they would probably oh, have some. We're sort not of... encouraging this. Right. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just hypothetically. But the banter between them sounds like two best friends. Right. Yeah, really exactly. Funny. Especially when they're stabbing each other, like, oh, I think you went too deep. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm dying here. I'm feeling oozy. <laughs> He's like, I'm getting a little woozy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, he is, he is definitely, his character stands out a lot. I'm glad that they, they made him a killer. Because yeah. I'm like, if, if, it, if, they, if it was just Billy, I feel like it would, the movie wouldn't have gone as far as it's gone. I feel like it would have been a lot more boring. I feel like if without yeah. Stu, like they, there's just, no, you have to have both. Yeah. Yin and yang. Yeah. <laughs> like, yin and yang. So you don't really expect his character, because he's just kind of like the goofy guy on the side, yeah. like the comedic relief. You don't expect him to be a murderer. Well, yeah. and especially since, like, you know, um, Bobby, is that his name? Billy. 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 No, um, the boyfriend. Is it Billy? Bubba Bubba boyfriend, Billy. Okay, yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> it is Billy. But, um, no, it's like Billy's the brains, and Stu's like, you know, the I'm bronze, he's, he's yeah, not the he, brightest bull in the pressure. Pressure. Yeah. pressure. <laughs> exactly. So, next week, you guys, we are going to, actually, so the next two weeks, since we are getting close to Halloween, we are going to be doing oh, something a little bit different. So, um, next week, we're going to be doing Trick or Treat. Mm -hmm. um, I've never seen Trick or Treat, which will be kind of exciting. Um, have you guys seen it? No. I, I remember watching it, like, a long time ago, but I think it was, I wasn't, like, really paying attention, or it didn't leave that mark on me, so mm -hmm. we'll see if it does this time. Mm -hmm. I've never, I've never seen it at all. <laughs> like, I've seen, like, 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 memes of it, but I've never seen it, so I'm really excited to watch that next week. Um, and so we'll be reviewing that, and then two weeks from now... We're going to be doing the original Halloween because it will be, we're going to be coming up on the week before Halloween. Ooh. So that'll be exciting. And then we're also going to be doing the Rob Zombie version of Halloween. So first week, or well, not first week, two weeks from now, <laughs> we'll be doing Halloween number one. And then we'll be doing the remake the following week. So that'll be really cool to kind yes. of compare and contrast. Ooh, yes. So mm -hmm. yeah, we're definitely excited for that. 
Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. We're going to go on ahead and wrap it up for the night because we yeah. want to go to bed. <laughs> I'm tired. Oh, I'm, I'm so tired. I'm tired with you guys. I know. <laughs> I, lo I love getting together with you guys. It's really fun. So yeah, I really hope you guys fun. continue to come. Yes. Make sure that you guys like, follow, subscribe to our channel, horrortv.com. And um, tune in every Monday. We're going to be here giving you guys, you know, our little reviews. We love it. <laughs> so see you next time. See ya. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye.